Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be doing another K-Beauty review and this is by Costa Baja PCMA Peptide Cream. And this is what it looks like. It's really, really cute. It's really small. It's 1.5 fluid ounces or 45 ml. That's actually still bigger than your, than your usual skincare product. It's usually one fluid ounce, usually, I think. Yeah, because it's 30 ml, usually. K-Beauty's, K Beauty's majority like more than that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my video. You're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. Um, all my social media accounts, including where you can get this, will be in the description section. So do check that out. So it says here, um, it's supposed to be anti-aging and helps with wrinkles and gives you this great glow, heals and repair skin. When I saw heals and repair skin, and I thought, why not give it a try? I wanted to give it a try um, because I just saw heels and repairs <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I want that. <laughs> so it says it's supposed to give you youthful glow. glow. Sorry, I have, I'm dyslexic and I have, you know, had he uh, multiple head traumas. So bear with me. Things are going to jumble up. Um, it's supposed to increase collagen production, smoother, tighter skin, all that stuff. And um, so this is what it looks like. And it does have hyaluronic acid. So I'm always questioning and I'm always kind of wondering if it's gonna work for me or not. Did it? No. <laughs> so um, I was very, very hopeful with this because it's very, very affordable and it feels amazing on the skin. It's very lightweight yet it's very hydrating. So it's really, really great. I actually tried this in winter and spring in separate occasions um, because I couldn't continue keep using it every day because it would make me break out. So I had to stop, but I wanted to try that. Um, I also did try this in the summer. Um, this is really, really awful for me in the summer. I have sensitive skin, very sensitive skin. I have dry skin in the summer. I have very, very slightly oily to normal, um, but not really like I don't even know. If I put sunscreen on, yes, I will be kind of oily. Like very, very light. Very, very light. Um, but my skin is mostly, like if this is the spectrum, this is oily, this is normal, I'm kind of here. So it's very, it's, it's, it's slightly just to make sure. Um, and the rest of the year, I am dry, very dry, very, 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 very dry, depending on the season, depending on how dry it is. So, um, I don't know why I try this in very different ways. Um, making this the only cream, this wasn't enough. I needed something else afterwards. It was hydrating, but not enough. Like I didn't, I didn't really feel my skin tightening, but when I would move my face um i could see like a ton of like it looked like razors like a hundred slashes on my face like it was stretched out so bad so i really did need more than just this then that's for like very 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 dry skin um and that also did happen in the spring it's weird i, I didn't feel it though but it, you could see it in my face that i still needed something else and also in the summer so like i said I'm slightly oily, but not very oily, that even when I put this on, I still need extra boost. Um, I didn't, I don't really have wrinkles, so I can't really attest in regards to minimizing wrinkles. Um, the fine lines, I don't think what I had was fine lines because it looked like it was just slashed, like it was uniform slashing, boom, 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 my entire face. Um... What I can tell you is that it made me break out. No rash or anything, no itchiness, no burning, no nothing like that. I didn't need to have to go to my dermatologist again, but um, I really didn't see all the great stuff it was saying. I didn't even see like the glow. I just didn't see any of that at all. Um, and it could have been because I really did, couldn't finish the whole tube or even half the tube. Um, I could only use it sparingly because it would make me break out, but I did test it for a few seasons and it just, it just didn't work. So, um, and if you are new to my channel, I have tried so many different kinds of hyaluronic acid, 
products and usually from K-Beauty, it usually can work for me, but not every time. And this is one of those times where this just didn't work out for me. I'm slightly gonna use this for like hand cream or I'll just, I don't know what I'm gonna use this with, but I never wanna try and like throw things out. I always wanna use them. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Um, it just so happens I have very sensitive skin. I have very dry skin. Um, depending on the year, like I said, if it is warmer, I have slightly oily, normal skin. The rest of the year, dry to extremely dry. Um, I don't really, I have also highly acne prone skin. So I think it comes hand in hand with the other descriptions that I've described with my skin. If you do belong in that category, our skin is still going to be uniquely different, a even a little bit. This may work out for you. It just never worked out for me. There's something about hyaluronic acid. And some people have mentioned this before, that it could be my skin is not at that age range. I don't really believe that. I feel like I feel like our skin, um, it's usually the type of skin, not the age of skin to me. Um, I could be, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Um, but it could be age too, because sometimes age can dictate the production of collagen, the production of everything in your body. So estrogen and testosterone and things like that. So it could be that, but I'm just saying that it's just, there have been hyaluronic acid products that is K-Beauty that has worked for me. Um, if you wanna check this out, feel free to do that. Just because we might have very similar stuff doesn't mean this might not work out for you. Um, I will give this a one thumb up because it made me break out. I will also give this a two thumbs up because it made me break out and I didn't really see a ton of difference. Again, because I couldn't test this very much, I can just only score it that way because it really irritated my skin in regards to it made me break out. Um, I'm not saying that it can't really do what it is claiming it's going to do. I just couldn't really get it to do it very much. I would say in the most in the week consecutively, I can only use this two times, two days. I mean, I'll use it morning and night, two days. Um, so when I try to test it in different seasons, I can only do that. Maybe if you're supposed to use this in a month or a few months or like half the bottle, maybe you can see the difference, but I can't really reach to that um, time frame because it makes me break out. So um again it's very affordable so if you guys want to check it out well you know it's not going to hurt anybody i mean if it makes you break out then it's going to hurt you so if you're off on the fence and maybe every single thing that i've reviewed you've tried and you have we have the same exact result maybe this is just not for you but um if you want to check it out and you are one of those people we have different skin types and your reaction to every to a lot of products that I've tried is the opposite reaction like this is really great for you then this might be a perfect fit for you if you guys have any questions suggestions in regards to this particular product let me know down in the comment section below I love hearing from you guys all the time if there are other products that you believe I will enjoy trying out testing out and will be a perfect fit for me let me know down in the comment section below I love hearing from you guys all the time thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next time bye